On today's photo moment, we're going to go outside with the spark, throw it in the sky, and see what happens. Good morning and welcome to Photo Justice Photo Moment, the first live daily, sh daily, God, I stop saying daily, thrice weekly show here on YouTube every weekday, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Wow, I am in a dark ages here. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9.30 a.m. Pacific. Listen to that. 9.30 a.m. Pacific. Uh, talking about photography, cameras, they might fly. These cameras, some, some of them fly, some of them don't. It's just, it's fun. Look, we're going to talk about this guy today. We're going to talk about, um, oh, that's good. I just put my phone number on the screen for everybody to see. Don't call me. Just don't. Um, we're going to take this thing up and show off the new sphere mode and how you take these sphere images and turn them into tiny planet things because it's so much fun. And it's finally not raining. At least it wasn't. So uh, let's see here. We look outside. Uh, outside says it's wet, but I don't think it's raining. So we're going to we're going to do this. Uh, so the, the whole thing is I don't have no idea what the version number is, but whatever the latest update is for the spark adds this sphere panoramic mode. And I'm going to show you the whole process. But what happens is you get this I don't even know what it's called, but it's like this panoramic, spherical panoramic image that is totally useless on its own, but then you can do stuff with it and you can make those tiny planet pictures. And it's super fun. I just think it's so much cool fun. So we're going to, we're going to play with that today. So, um, I need to, I need to, let's quit all this stuff. I need to connect to the spark and we're going to take this thing outside and hopefully all is going to work as it's supposed to. Undoubtedly, you have seen this sort of thing before the spark will connect over, um, I don't want a software update, we'll connect over the Wi-Fi's, come here, where are you, there we go, Wi-Fi, and hopefully it shows up there, um, yeah, and I don't have, I still don't have the physical remote to plug the phone into, I gotta, I, I suppose I really should just get that, because um, I don't want to upgrade this thing to a Mavic until I'm like really good at flying it, and I'm definitely not really good at flying it yet, but that's okay, all right, so that's connected, let's get Mr. DJ Go 4 software running, make sure that everything is seeing everything, and then we will take this thing outside. Your app's precision fly safe database is too low. Yeah, 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 whatever. Um, there we go. Look, you can see. Woohoo. You can see it. Excellent. Look, it's me. Ah! All right, so um, let's take this thing outside. I'm going to... Ooh. Oh, you know what? I forgot. Hey, Ryan, grab the, uh, the, the C-stand that's got the tray on it. It's sitting over there in the corner. Yeah, thanks. I need somewhere to put the tablet on there when I'm out there so I can switch around and set things down. Okay, let's go, let's go to this view for the moment. Uh, anything in the comments before we go? Bart says, the construction workers next door have decided to do drum solos on their buckets during their lunch break. Nice, some of us are trying to work or watch photos just to pretend to work. That, that works, I like pretending to work. Okay, uh, let's take this outside. There's Mr. Ryan and I need the tablet and let's go. All right, here we go, here we go. Okay, you got the camera. Pull that cable for me, will you, so I don't yank it off. There we go. Will it reach out to here? Did I plan this properly? Excellent. All right. Super. Yay. Look at this. It's working. Let me get these things out of my ears. Still haven't gone wireless on the earphones properly. All right, let's, uh, I'll just set this down here. Let that get its satellite position and all those things that it does. Check this out. We've, uh, we've upgraded one thing. Ow. We've upgraded one thing. Go ahead and turn the camera over there. We now have a TV. It's on wheels. Okay, you can't really see it. You can go back to me. But it's a TV. It's a confidence monitor, so I can see what's actually being shown. Is the camera straight now? Yeah, it is. Okay, so this is no positioning. It's an attitude mode, right? It is, uh, we're just waiting for this to catch up. Let's see here. I can show you what it sees. Um, hey, would you grab me the little stand that I use for this that's sitting on my desk? Sorry, thanks. Um, where are we? Let's go to, wow, doesn't matter. There we go. There's the drone view. Oh, it says ready to go, no GPS. I probably technically don't need the GPS for this right now, but I am not inclined to take off and make that mistake. So have it fly away. Ready to go, GPS. Okay, let's, uh, let's do this thing. All right, let's switch over to this view. So this is kind of cool, just FYI, in case you're wondering how the heck I'm doing this. Um, the standard HDMI, lightning to HDMI cable is in here, going to a very, very long HDMI cable that's going into the decimator like I always would. So this is the same way I always show my iPhone on screen. I just happen to be uh, doing it from outside today. All right, let's switch over to the iPhone view. Wonderful. Nice big loud trucks. And let's take off. Up she goes. All right. 
So now one thing that I have figured out, whoa, wrong way, not that way, not that way, go this way. See, I still don't know front from back. One thing I have figured out is that the, um, I switch into camera mode here, the spherical thing, so here it is, pano, and then you see there it says sphere. This seems to work better when it's lower. I think it just, like the overall result appears to be better. I'm still kind of figuring all this out. But, so I'm gonna bring this down a little bit. Let this car fly right, go right underneath me. Should we go get the car? Should we go chase him? No, we're not gonna chase the car. Um, Nice view. See, look at that beautiful weather out there. All right, let's see. Is that a good height? I think I want to go a little higher. I want to get above the buildings. Unfortunately, there's no good tall trees around here. Eh, we'll just do it from there. Okay, so we're in the spherical mode. It's ready to go. I just hit the button and it starts. So take a look. I'm not going to leave it on here the entire time, but you'll see what it's doing. It's just like the panorama mode. It moves around um, and takes a variety of pictures. Ooh, that's dark. Hmm. Yeah, because it's got this black asphalt underneath it. I don't know how well this is going to look, but we'll find out. But look over on the right, underneath the shutter button, it says eight out of nine out of 46. It's going to take 46 pictures to do this, which is really kind of cool, right? I mean, that's, that is a lot of pictures that are being taken by that silly little flying camera. Uh, all, stitch, all to stitch together into this big spherical thing. So let's go back to looking through there. See what it's doing. I don't, it says, please stay still to ensure the best quality. I don't know who it's talking to. Just like telling the drone to stay still. Uh, can you, uh, actually, can you go ahead and zoom in up on the, on the drone? I want you to see how it's moving, which is really kind of cool. Give me a thumbs up when you're ready, Ryan. I'll switch the camera over to it. Um, but uh, it's, it just does this little 360 spin. And here we go. You can see, there we go. So you can see how it's turning up there. And that's what it does. It just takes the pictures. It obviously tilts the camera up and down. And uh, off it goes. It's really kind of a cool little thing that it's doing. Yeah, it's kind of fun. Fun and games, fun and games. All right, let's go back to that view. You can see what it's doing. Okay, you're clear, Ryan. And it's just about finished. What are we at? 40 out of 46. Oh, we are so lucky. Look, the sun came out and everything. This is fun. So I've been having a lot of fun with it. I did get one image that had a hole in it, and I don't understand why. Um, it's something I'll have to look into. I don't know if it's the spark moved or what. All right, there we go. Done. This car's coming and everything. All right, let's land this thing. And, oh, it should have been facing me. Oh, well, that's okay. Land. And landed. Perfect. Excellent flying. Super. Okay. Uh, let's see. I need this. Ryan, um, I'm going to let you grab the spark. I'm just going to head inside and switch over to this view. So, back to it. We are back. Um, thanks. I don't actually need this right now, but... Uh, this, I'm going to do everything over the Wi-Fi, so it's just connected to that. I'll leave that in place. And let's, uh, let's see what we've got. Compass Air, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's go back to this. Actually, before we do this, take a look. Any, any comments? No comments. Oh, wait, no, there was one. SR Digital says the tech is now mobile on stands, not so easy to steal like it was when it was on the wall. <laughs> He's making fun of my putting my gear outside. Okay, let's take a look at the iPhone. I uh, hit the play button in the bottom right. You see it up there in the top left. It's got the little sphere icon. So I tap that and it starts stitching them together. This actually is pretty quick. Uh, I mean, you know, all things considered. I, I know it's not, you're seeing a split screen of it, but it'll just let it go. It, it's kind of funny because it looks like it's going to be done very soon, but then it gets to the end and it takes a little bit longer. Uh, but this is now stitching those together. And what we're going to see on here is a tiny planet view. However, when you export it, it is not the tiny planet view. And you go, well, hold on a second. So there's a couple of different apps that you can use to, to do this. Uh, the Someone recommended on the show here, Tiny Planet, so I bought that one, and I'll show you that. And then there's this one that is for the, um, the Theta. I forget who makes that thing, not Samsung. Uh, who makes that? Anyway, there's this camera called the Theta 360 camera, and you can use their app to do a, a Tiny Planet as well. But this other one has some more options. So here, here we go, check this out. So there's, there's the view. So you can see here it's not perfect. Um, obviously, unfortunately, because of the value difference between the ground. It's not doing it in HDR, so it's a little bit dark there. It works better when there's a really proper sunny day. And you can also see the stitch line over on the right at the three o'clock position. But I think when we start playing with it um, using other software that we'll be able to get rid of some of that. This is just kind of a preview. Okay, so let's go back into this and, hey Ryan, can you hand me the little stand? I need that tilting thing. Um, I'm gonna save this, lower left corner, I hit download. 
Thank you. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Checked. It's downloaded. And now I should be able to go into the camera roll here. And there's, there we go. So that's what it creates. So you can see here, it is a largely like, what the heck am I supposed to do with this kind of a, a mode. And you look at the top of it's all blurry. It's kind of funny. I, you know, I don't totally get this stuff, but it's weird, blurry. Well, anyway, that's what it is. So now let's go to um, theta. Let's really do the theta one first. So theta, let's see here. I don't know what, I guess this has to be vertical. Uh, I tap on edit image. I think that's right. Begin. Theta would like to access your photos. Apparently I haven't done it on this phone. All right, and then it doesn't work, and then I have to back out it, back out, and then you have to quit it. Maybe we're not going to use theta. Goodness gracious! Let's try this again. Excellent performance. There we go. This is not the iPhone 10. I'd like to point out. Let's go back into theta. Notifications. Don't care. Edit image. Edit image. Maybe we're going to use the other. App. Oh no! Did it do something? This is brilliant. Well, wow, this is really well done. Okay, I have a better idea. How about we don't use theta? How about we use tiny planets? <laughs> this is way cooler anyway. Okay, so tiny planets, I choose the image. There it is. And it brings it in flat. And then look, there's all these different options on the bottom, what I can do with it. I'm going to do the tiny planet view. And this is so cool, the way it wraps it around. You get to see it wrapping around in real time. I think it's awesome. And then once that's created, now we have all kinds of things we can do, like zoom into it. So let's go here and zoom in, make that a little bit bigger. Um, if we go to the, is this the, yeah, the edge blur from here, you see it's at 5% now. If I move that, you can see where the edge is, right? So it's just kind of found its own little balancing point. Um, and we'll put that back to 5% because that seemed to work reasonably well. I can, I can, mm, what's this? oh yeah, I can realign the edge if it didn't get it lined up right the first time. I can do these latitude shifts. How cool is that? I, just, I think it is so much fun. I am just having an absolute blast with this thing. Spin it around. So whoever was that recommended this app, thank you again. It's, it's a great little app for this. It's been a lot of fun. So I'm having a good old time with this. But look at how fun that is. A little tiny planet view. I love it. So here, let me look at the picture that I did before. The one that first so far, oops, I wrong, wrong button. So far, the best tiny planet that I've done was the very first picture that I shot, which was total coincidence. I mean, just got lucky. Um, but let me show you that one and how that comes together. Today's my little one's third birthday, so yesterday we had a birthday party, and hence a million photos of that. That was fun. Um, it's not there. It was earlier, earlier, earlier. Where is it? It was out at Lithia Park. It came out really beautiful. The, nope, that's not it either. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, importing this. So there again, you see that weird wrap around. We go tiny planet mode. So there's this really cool fountain in Lithia Park. That's this um, octagonal shaped fountain. So I hovered the drone right over that and did the thing from there. So that one came out really cool. And this is a good one to you can really choose your alignment, which way I don't want it to go. Kind of like so-ish. Line that up. I'm sure I must have zoomed into it a bit. Um, I had used the Theta app for this one before, but uh, it's not quite. Eh, it up anyway, you get the idea. It's really easy. It's just, it's super fun. I thought it was so cool to do. So there you go. That's it. A little sparky. Okay, let's put you to sleep now because you're making lots of noise. I'm having so much fun with this thing. I do still need to get really a lot better at flying this. Uh, let's see what's going on in the uh, in the comments, and then we are going to call it a show. Uh, Bart's asking, can this be done with a Phantom 4? I don't know. Um, I don't, I have no idea because I don't own one of those. I don't look in those forums, so I have no idea what's going on there. Uh, I just know it was a software update. And oh, you know, it's worth mentioning that when I ran the firmware update on the Spark, to specifically to get this feature. It wasn't there, it didn't show up. And I went into the forums and a lot of people were having this problem with it. And so what I ended up doing by a uh, forum moderator, presumably a DJI employee's recommendation was to download the desktop software. I forget what it's called, but it's a DJI something desktop software and plug this into the computer and run the firmware update again over that. And then it it worked. Well, almost. Then I still had to delete and reinstall the app on the phone. So I don't know. There were some weird issues with it. So if you've upgraded your software and it's not, your firmware rather, and it's not showing up, then I'd say because it's easiest, start by deleting the app on your iPhone, the DJI Go 4, whatever it's called, app on your smartphone, and then reinstall that. And if it still doesn't fix it, then download their desktop software 
and uh, plug it in via USB into your computer, your Mac or PC, and do it that way. That's um, that's what I'd recommend. And then, I want you to know that hopefully it shows up. It's, who knows why, a little bug in their updater. It should have been there, but it wasn't. Uh, but yeah, I do not know if it could be done with Phantom or any other one. Sorry. Um, Bart, yes, I bought the Tiny Planet apps. That was you. Thank you very much. Uh, Bart says, that would work on a Samsung iPhone as a dying brand. Uh, yeah, I know. We're talking for you guys who weren't here for the pre-show. We were having fun with the troll. Um, Bart says, "Glad you picked up the Tiny Planet app." Oh, you're saying it again? There you go. Yes, I've, you're obsessed with it. It's fun. It's a nice little app. It works out really well. Have you tried making it a video in Tiny Planets? Oh yeah, yeah. I did actually. Let me um, let me do that. Here, let's go back to this view, and I'll just use this one. Can I? How do I back out of here? There we go. Let's go Video Planet. So it's just a little animation that it creates. You can export this and put this up on YouTube. It does that. It's just it's so cool. <laughs> it's just fun. And keep in mind, too, that the video... Oh, video Blast. I don't know what that one is. I don't think I've tried that one yet. I think I have to wait for it to stop. There we go. Video Blast. Ooh. Oh, wow. Hey, look, that's me. Oh, that's so cool. Ah, oh, this is fun. This is great fun. Um... Because it's just a still photo before you bring it in and do the all spherical thing to it, you could take it into another app to do some retouching, do some color work, you know, whatever you want. So that's, you have that option as well. You could, even in the case of an image where the sky and the foreground are not quite matching, um, you know, one's too bright, you could take it into an app and do some brushing on it. There's, you know, there's lots of options. Lots of, I did one that, that I thought was going to be cool, but it was too high up. The plane was too high up. And so I wonder if I can find these if I go to my panoramic view. Um, do they show up in here? No, they don't, darn. Anyway, uh, where it was too high up, and so the, and it was a really high contrast day, so the ground was just really dark, but I opened it up into Affinity Photo, and I brushed in some brightness. Now, obviously, it's a JPEG. There's only so much you can do, but I brushed in some brightness, and it worked out a lot better. It looked pretty good. That was the one that had a hole in it, though. It was kind of this weird hole that showed up. I don't know why. Anyway, um, but yeah, that's it. That's all very, that's all it. Burn sex very kaleidoscope-ish. It is. It is. Doctor, it's like Doctor... Strange meets Inception. There we go. So that's it. That's it. That's today's show. Hey, Wednesday. Um, Wednesday is going to be a different take on the show. A friend of mine who is an app developer is coming on to talk about his new app that is getting released tomorrow. So I'm not going to tell you what it is yet because it's all part of the surprise. But uh, if you're an, if you you know like photography, then you should stick around because it'll be fun. So that that's going to be Wednesday's show. We're going to do that, and um, I guess that's it. Oh, Sean's asking, how long does it take to charge your Spark batteries? Well, I only have, I don't have the the power charger, the desktop, right? I only have the USB cable that plugs in, so it takes like an hour or something. It takes forever. I don't know. It takes way too long, but that's okay. All right, guys, we're out of here. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.